to Sister Circle Live. We're live right here at Sister Circle, and I'm here with the head chef of We TV's hit new show, Hustle and Soul. How about that? All right, I love that name. Listen, and today he's going to teach us about some um, nice. I'm teaching you about everything tomatoes? today. Fried green tomatoes. Fried, fried green tomatoes. Yes. And how do you make this healthy? Is there a way? You cook it with, I like to cook mine with olive oil. Okay. Well, let's all, talk a little uh, bit uh, about that. Yeah, olive Welcome, oil. Welcome, yep. Chef. Lawrence? Yes. All right. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here. You look nice and red, by the way. Thank you very yeah. much. And you, you clean up pretty well yourself. I had to stand back and look at you. You look nice. Well, let's, let's, let's make get this started. food nice. Let's, let's get started with yes, this. Yes, indeed. So, first of all, you want to pick a nice ripe tomato. Is that correct? Yes. Green yeah, tomato. Yeah, you want a green tomato. Mm -hmm. and you got to make sure. See, right now, see, some of these tomatoes are okay. Like, this one's really good, and I picked a couple of them that we could slice. But when it's white like that, you can't use it. It's, it's not ready. Let me touch the consistency yeah, of it. Yeah, feel it. Yeah, it's too hard. This yeah. is not ripe enough. Right. Absolutely. Right, exactly. All right. So, you know what? You said you'd like to use a little olive oil. Yes, I like to use olive healthy. oil. It's a little okay. bit healthy for mm -hmm. you. I like to actually cook it in cornmeal. Mm -hmm. Of course, cornmeal is healthy. Mm -hmm. A lot oh, it of people is. don't realize that. You know what I mean? I didn't realize that. Yes, it's and very I cook. healthy. Really? I do. Really? Got a book coming Some up. people cook fried chicken and cornmeal, too. Mmm. Yeah. It's and cornflakes, they use those, too. I haven't used the cornflakes. You still get the I same crisp. I gotta try that. Yeah, you still <laughs> get the same crisp. So how long have you actually been cooking? I've been cooking for about 10 years. You know? Really? Yeah, my mom taught me how to cook, you know what I mean, southern, you know, I'm from Alabama originally. Are you really? Yeah, raised in Brooklyn, you know what I mean? So the thing is, is that it stays in me. Mm. So somehow I ended up on a show called Hustle and Soul. Somehow I ended up opening these restaurants, pink teacup. Yeah, I heard, I heard Hustle and Soul got a lot of drama over there, but yes. I won't get too deep in your business right now. Let's talk a little bit about your tips for the tomatoes. So yes. you said you like to use honey. That's interesting. Why did you yes. use honey? No, not for the tomatoes. Mm. This, this is different. These are tips for like healthy soul food. Oh, okay, these okay. options well, over here. Well, so let's get into those. I like to put honey on my candy ams. You know, you can always switch it out with honey. You know what I mean? Instead of using sugar, a lot of people use sugar, especially in the South. We like to use a lot of yes, sugar. Yes, we do. Brown yeah. sugar, white sugar, processed yep. sugar is too much. And when you're doing mac and cheese, I like to do a whole wheat noodle. Mm. Healthy for you, v v vegetarians. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to e eat mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So a lot, of, a lot of vegetarians come into my restaurant a lot, and I'm always ready to cook a vegan mac. Really? So that's why you could switch it out with the whole wheat noodles. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about the bread, because, you know, carbs cornbread. and waistlines, they just don't work together. But, but, but you need cornbread. <sighs> but the carbs, and I need my waistline. Ain't nothing wrong with the hip with the dip. You need that. I'll write the hip with the dip and the honey. Okay, go ahead. What do you do to kind of cut back on the fat with that? I like to use vegan butter. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot a little healthier for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it, it still gives you the fluffiness of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of buttermilk to it. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. a lot, just a touch. Mm -hmm. And it comes out nice and fluffy. Now, I like what you've done with the greens. Now, I don't know if these are turnip greens or collards, but I know the good greens. Um, but I like that you use the turkey meat. I use turkey meat. It, it, you do? Yeah, it's like no hog uh -huh. paws and fat back and all uh -huh. of that. That's just too much. But that's good, that's though. That's deep sauce. But that's good, though, because that's south. Yeah. And we need that, you But know? what I also do, and I'm sure you probably do this as well, do you let your smoke turkey kind of sit and drain that, that salt off of it? I, I let it sit in oh, water. Oh, no. You like it salty? Oh, no. See, I like the balance mine. It's Ooh. called a balance. You well, know? Talk to me about so, the balance. So a lot of people use bacon. We're not going to use bacon. Not I like all. to cook it with smoked turkey. It gives that flavor, that smokiness to mm -hmm. it. But what I like to do is take my smoked turkey and pan fry it. Mm. And I like to take the juice and pour it right in the collard greens. Mm. And then after you're done cooking it, you chop it up mm. and put it in there. So now you have that. It's already smoked, but you just pan You're searing it a little bit. What you do, Lawrence, about the the, the salt, though? Because we know cured meat is very salty at mm -hmm. times. Well, I'm cooking for almost like three or 400 people a day. Oh, okay. You so, mean, it's big just pot, so it balances it out. out. It yeah, it balances out. out. All right, and then let's get a little bit, uh, do a little bit more about these tomatoes here. Okay, these fried green tomatoes. We have some over here already cooking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I already prepared it for you because I knew you were coming. Yes. So. Oh, you knew I was coming. Yeah, yeah. So you know I, was up, I was up early in the morning You know, this is my time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was coming, Miss Quad, so I made those tomatoes. Yeah. So I would love to taste them. Can I get my sisters to yeah. come on in uh, and have a taste of Lawrence's um, nice fried like, green tomatoes? In the midst the of this, up. you talked a little bit about the pink teacup. Yes. What's going on over there? Pink well, teacup. Cooking yeah, in here? Pink teacup is Let in Miami. Let us try those. Grab so y'all going to try these at the locate side. Pink teacup. Okay. Yes. Come on, beer gang. Come on, Sue. These women try that. These women. These women, honey. Oh, I, I just got to tell I you. I love fried green tomatoes. Me too. Yeah, I do. My God. Oh, you get something. Yes, do you want to share this one? Yes, Miss Quad. You can pick them up. 
out with your hand and you want to bite me. Oh, I'm, I'm getting get down and dirty today. We can okay, get down good. with it. Well, uh -huh. well, look, I'll tell you and what I make I'm these do. at the pink teacup. So the one in Brooklyn well, and the one in Miami. I thought she was giving you. Yeah. Let's toss to a clip while we eat. How about that? Yeah, let's watch Hustle and Soul. Let's like see that. what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is actually it's good. good. It's good, right? Our biggest goal is to make the pink teacup a national household name. We ready? Oh, no. But achieving his dream won't be easy. Yo! Lawrence is working hard to win his baby mama, Anna, back. Just give me one shot. Oh, but what happened with your girlfriend? Hello. But with Fandy's appetite for his <laughs> chicken, there may be one too many cooks in the kitchen. Woo, chef bass! Uh, and that beer getting them in trouble. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> no, but you can catch Hustle and Soul every Thursday at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock Central on WeTV. Right after Braxton Family Values, yes, I have a mouthful, but uh -huh. listen, you can catch it. <laughs> listen, we have a